Hey everyone, it's uh, Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, here I am at the Lamorgan Shopping Center. I went a little bit out of the way for this vlog, as I'm at yet another bowling alley right here in Calgary. You can see the sign right there Mountain View Bowling Lanes, as you know, still everything. Bowling alleys is still closed due to. COVID-19, but I'm back on the mission on finding which Calgary bowling alley has the best retro aesthetics. As I've already went to Chinook Bowlodrome in the basement, that's my home lanes where I bowled in the YBC. I already talked about why I love the retro aesthetics there in the basement, but I've also walked outside Paradise Lanes, as I always remember that lane for being with retro aesthetics. And then I was recently at Toppler a few weeks ago, as a reflecting on the shopping center there, as that looks unchanged, and the fact that I had great memories in there, especially in 1996, with the Four Stiff Stardom Junior Boys team when I represented Chinook when we won that. But uh, here at Mountain View, this lane is very unique, as both in terms of, I think now it's the only bowling alley in Calgary that has both five and 10 pin. As I know, I remember Let's in the Northeast. It used to be a five and 10 pin, where it was Let's five and 10 pin bowl. But I think this is the only bowling alley in Calgary that has both games. I played the five pin, but I also love 10 pin, and that's the game that most people associate with. But I'll just get towards the entrance right here that this bowling alley prides themselves on being retro aesthetics in terms of 1950s diner as Another theme that we seem to be reoccurring here is that every bowling alley so far I went to, you go into a strip mall or in a shopping mall, in case you snook, in a basement. Well, this is as far as you can go in the Mountain View Bowl. As you can see, definitely retro aesthetics. Route 66, that's definitely one of the iconic highways in the United States. But this bowling alley, when you advertise it, he prides himself on the 1950s and Coca-Cola. I definitely prefer Coca-Cola over Pepsi, but you can kind of see, you know, the cars. And if you've seen some advertisements, you can kind of picture, you know, the 50s diner, you know, with the checkerboard floor and the, you know, kind of that pastel colors. But this bowling alley prides themselves on retro aesthetics. But how would you define retro aesthetics in my books a business that prides themselves on being retro that way manufactured or let's say going back to the other bowling alleys that i talked about with the chinook center and paradise lanes as well as toppler where it still has the original retro aesthetics that's original but this i can say is manufactured ready to roll well I'm I'm always ready to roll and I'm looking to possibly get back in the game, but this thing is still in the way. And unfortunately bowling alley still is still being hit with the uh COVID restrictions. I mean it was December when they weren't uh were allowed to shut down and here we are almost into June and bowling alleys have not been open again. And you can see the other side of the science is Thanks for coming. See you again soon. Well, this is definitely got a different meaning, as I'm hoping that maybe, maybe I'll get to see bowling again. Not only just, you know, getting back into the game, but just, you know, people who own these establishments, would they be able to get to uh, be allowed to open? But that's just the kind of best view we can get from outside without, you know, obviously trespassing, breaking in. I guess you could take a look at the other side, Robin's Roadhouse. You can kind of see a, a motorcycle, but this bowling alley has retro stacks and they mark themselves as that. As you can take a look out, this is at the Glamorgan Shopping Center. I mean, this is in Richmond Road, 37th Street. I know the big business around here is the bakery, but uh, this is definitely another bowling alley that I took a look at. Which bowling alley would you say has the best retro aesthetics says this one prides themselves on it with the 50s diner theme but still Chinook Center especially in the basement I, it's, that's always gonna be in my home lanes because I have my most bowling memories in there 
And then Paradise is very unique with this tropical theme. I'm uh, not too sure if they still keep that in the alley today. I think I've seen some update pictures someone's wrecked that. But it still has that, you know, vintage feeling in a strip mall in the basement. And then Toppler, seeing the outside. But I also I'm always going to have memories in there, especially with that 1996 Junior Boys win. But I don't have much memories in here. I think I've occasionally bowled in here. But I didn't remember it being priding themselves on the 19... 50s retro aesthetics but uh, this is another vlogging on the go video where I get around and see different parts of the city and this vlogging on the go I mean it's definitely been you know a big part of another thing I've been doing on my channel just to get out and see the city rediscover the sea of Calgary as uh, there's some parts of the city has changed I mean well recently I had to flash back to Crescent Heights High School with my uh, collecting on 20 years since I graduated from there and St. Center Street, but also the fact that I recently went to Dr. Oakley, which is actually not too far from here. I mean, I've been to Cunicle Morgan, but uh, Dr. Oakley's near Marta Loop and uh, Altador. I'm just going to go back out because the traffic can try not to capture people, but uh, I'm going to say, yeah, this is the Glamorgan Shopping Center. I mean, uh, this vlog in a go has allowed me to also uh, see different parts of the city that... Uh, I don't go to very often. I mean, this part is still kind of out of the way, but it's actually not too far from home. But, you know, just working my way back up to the sign right up here, Mountain View Lanes. But uh, I'm going to say this has been a chance for me to get out and try this, get out, see different parts of the city, you know, proudly show the city that I live and work in. But, you know, going back to the COVID and still not being allowed to go back in the bowling alleys, this has actually been therapeutic for me to, you know, get out and vlog like this. Because it allows me to get out and share the city and definitely you know going back to the the schools i mean crescent Heights and now dr oakley seeing how much the city has changed around me too but uh i'm gonna say this bowling alley i remember it's always been here i haven't bowled here much but it's just the uh the retro aesthetics but i'll get back to you. what bowling alley would you say in calgary has the best retro sex this one purposely purposely does the retro sex with the 1950s Diner theme, but I'm going to say going back to Chinook, Paradise, and even Toppler, I think they still try to keep that. And also the one thing I haven't looked up is when this bowling alley is opened or when this whole show center around here opened or how many lanes this bowling alley has. But I know it has both 5 and 10 pin. Well, there's more 10 pin lanes here. I mean, I love both games, but 5 pin was the game that I uh, grew up playing. But uh, both bowling is great. And of course, I want to try, you know, duck pin or candle pin or nine pin that the germans had but uh, we don't have that here in calgary or i need to go to different parts of the country assuming you know covid ever ends and get to travel again so anyways I'd like to say if you want to follow along with this calgary sports fans journey home of the flames hitman roughnecks and stamp peters i mostly do talk calgary sports on my youtube channel but i also have been doing personal vlogs attempt to call me share my experience with them on the road or i swear to and this vlog in a go and part of it this vlog in a go has been showing the demolition of the stampede corral and Eventually show the construction of the new BMO Center and hopefully the new event center with the uh, Figure out the budget because that's been put on hold and also, you know, the flashback at schools different parts of the city that I Live and work in and of course bowling alleys the game that is still in my blood Just haven't had as much time to bowl, but I want to get back into it, but please COVID please I want to get back in the alleys and for the sake of the people that uh, own and operate these alleys I mean they, they need to make a living too and you know back to mental health i want to get back to knocking down pins again just like i did in my younger days so so i want to say thanks for watching and i always say make sure you hit like and subscribe if you want to follow along with this calgary sports fans journey so uh so i say thanks for watching and this is mountain view bowl the 1950s diner they pride themselves on retro aesthetics the other lanes it just happened to have it so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video